Hello there and welcome back to our Kiv Mass class where mass is fun and made simple. In this lesson, I will be introducing you to set theory. The word set is something that occurs in our everyday life activities. When you think of a collection of animals that walk on land, or a fleet of cars, or a team of footballers, you're already thinking of sets. A set is a collection of similar or well-defined objects. In mass, set notation requires the use of curly brackets and the items within this bracket are called the elements of the set. Sets are usually named with capital letters and they can be described in several ways. It can be described by listing the elements, for example, a set of odd numbers greater than zero or a set of numbers less than 10. It can also be described by stating a rule. For example, a set of all numbers divisible by 3. See, that's a rule. So, if the set n is a set of all numbers divisible by 3 to give us these numbers. It can also be described by simply a word description. For example, a set of furniture. So, set f will be equal to text chair, bookshelves, because all these are furniture. It can be described by diagrams, which is called a Venn diagram. For example, this diagram is a set of numbers divisible by three that are less than 40. As we have seen, the members of a set are called elements, and this symbol is used to denote membership. So we can read this as six is an element of the set of even numbers. And this symbol means not an element of. So we can also read this as 7 is not an element of the set of even numbers. Finally, in this lesson, the number of elements in a set is referred to as the cardinality of a set. It is denoted by this symbol, where A is the set. For example, if set A is equal to whole numbers greater than 11 and less than 20, so set A would be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So the cardinality of set A will be equal to 8. That is the number of elements in set A. So in the next lesson, we'll see the different types of sets. See you there.